Hey everyone, Luke here. And if you're watching this video, it's probably because you want to learn how to take Instagram stories for when you share your new post to your story from looking something like this to maybe something that looks a little more like this. And is dynamic and allows your viewers to go ahead and click through to the post that you're sharing to immediately begin liking and commenting and engaging with your post. So, to not waste any time, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First step is, you're going to want to head over to the App Store, and you're going to download the app called Over. It's a totally free to use app, and basically we just need it to create the transparent PNG files we're ultimately going to export to make this whole process work. So, go ahead and download that, and once it downloads, hit Open, and you'll see the big yellow plus sign button at the bottom of Over. Go ahead and click that to create a new project. And the type of project we want to create is a transparent one, so make sure you click Transparent. And since we're creating an Instagram story, you'll see they have different sizes here for different social media apps. So scroll all the way over to the left and you'll see the story size for Instagram, 1080 by 1920. Go ahead and select that with the yellow check mark up top. And now I got our blank canvas. So next what you wanna do is go ahead and import the image that you want to be the background of your Instagram story. Now this can be the same image that you're going to share in your actual post or something that I like to do is use an image that quite didn't make the cut isn't going to be in the post or the group post, but it'll be one that I still want to share. So I'll kind of drop in the background here. Uh, for the sake of this, let's go ahead and choose this image. Now it works best if your image is already cropped 16 by 9, um, but you can you can throw any image in here and scale it. So go ahead and scale the image to the size of the canvas you want. And something like that looks good. Now this is where you can go ahead and get creative and add your own spin on it. So. What I like to do is I'll come over here. Sometimes I'll mess with the opacity, turn it down a little bit, or what I've been into lately is I'll go ahead and crank up the blur about 20%. And what that'll ultimately do is put more emphasis on the posts that you're gonna share on top of this. We kind of just want this to be a background that looks a little different, draws people in, but doesn't take away from the attention of your actual post. So I like to blur it out a little bit. And now we're gonna move on to the most important step. That is the mask tool. That's where the magic of this all comes in. And so you'll click mask, make sure you've got the full mask over here. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna mask out just a little hole wherever you want your post to go. So for this one, let's just kinda toss it in the top middle up here. I don't wanna block out the knives in this photo too much, but I wanna go ahead and draw attention to this. So we'll kinda go in the middle. And you'll see I'm just basically masking out a little hole where we're gonna be able to pull our post through to be able to display it front and center. You'll see in a minute. And once you have your whole mask out where you want it, go ahead and click that yellow check mark. And again, you can kind of get creative in the app here. So something I like to do is open up the text. They have a few free fonts in here, all free to use. I like quicksand. And I'll just kind of put a little something like new post to let everyone know that I have a new post up. And just add a little creative spin on it there. And you can throw that in here, scale that up so it'll be centered with the image once it's in here. Um, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and actually add another text layer on here. And I'm going to say, like, father, like, son. Because this post is actually going to be for a, a Father's Day pick with one of those knives. This is the gift that I got my dad. So, uh, again, just a little creative something. You can add a title to it. You can add all kinds of graphics, whatever you want to do, get creative in this app. And once you have your finished product, go ahead and click that yellow check mark again. And you're going to see the yellow export box up in the top right. Go ahead and click that. And it should be the default setting, but go ahead and uh, click up on export settings to double check. Make sure you have PNG selected. You'll see it says high quality with transparency. That transparency is the most important part. So make sure it's on that setting. Hit done and just go ahead and hit save. And now it'll save directly to your camera roll on your phone. So next step, let's head over to Instagram. We'll pull that up and go to the most recent post that you want to share on your story. So this is the post that you want everyone to click through to and really the main focus of this story. Go ahead and hit share, add post to story. And so let's go ahead and scale this up a little bit and place it about, you know, where you expect that hole that we masked out to be once we copy it over. So you've got your, your post in your story and then switch back on over to your Photos app. And you'll see you have the new post graphic that we created in Over ready to go. You'll just hit the Share button down there in the bottom left and copy your photo. 
And so once you've copied your photo, you'll just flip back on over to Instagram and you'll see it says add sticker with the post that we just created and over. So go ahead and click that. It'll paste it right on here and you go ahead and scale it up to the size of your story. Something like that looks good. And then you just click on the photo behind it. Boom, pulls it forward. Now it's front and center and it's dynamic. So your followers can click through and start liking and commenting on your post immediately and really giving you that engagement early on, which is key for Instagram and that's about it so um i know most of you that you're probably like okay cool that's what i needed out of this video thanks luke awesome tip i'm out if that's the case totally understand class dismissed and go ahead and uh, like this video if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel if you want more tips in the future but for those of you who want a little extra credit and a little extra tip stick around and i'm going to show you how to do a little bit more with this in photoshop so now we're going to flip over to the computer so what you want to do is go ahead and open up an image in Photoshop. Uh, this one I already have cropped 16 by 9, but if you don't, just hit C to open up your crop tool. And you can go up top here and hit a fixed ratio and do 9 by 16. And then just crop out whatever you want your background photo that we'll put in over later to look like. So something like that. Boom, I cropped it. Cool, good to go. Then what I like to do is I'll go down here to the bottom right and add a new layer on top of that one. And we'll just go over here and select our rectangle tool, or you can hit the M key on your keyboard. And again, make sure that's on fixed ratio up here at the top. And you just set this ratio to whatever your post is gonna be on Instagram that you're gonna like post on top of this background. So typically the photos I share are four by five. So I'd have that fixed ratio of four by five. You might also have a one by one or whatever the ratio that you're sharing on Instagram. So for this, it's gonna be a four by five. And so what I like to do is I just kind of go come in here and put a rectangle over my photo where I think the post is going to go. So for this one, let's say it's going to go here. And then I'll just grab my paint bucket tool, or you could hit G on your keyboard, either way. And I'll fill that in black. And the reason I do that is just to give me a visual of where I expect the post to go. So I can start designing around that. And so this is where really the sky is the limit. A lot of you watching this video are probably way more creative than me. So you'll probably come up with some amazing things here. You can grab your brush tool and just start painting away here. You could add a little watermark down here if you wanted. You could sign it, something like this, boom. Doctor's handwriting. You could add one of these, boom, 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 boom. And add one of those like it's your middle school trapper keeper. Yeah, you can do whatever you want or you might even just want to do something as simple as adding text in Photoshop. And why would you want to do that? Well, it gives you the ability to choose a different font than what's in all of the apps, whether it's over or on Instagram itself. Um, sometimes just using a different font than what's available in all of the apps that we've been using makes your story stand out just a little bit more, just that little touch. That will draw somebody in and be like, wait, I've never seen that font in an Instagram story before. Let me take a look at this. And then they're going to click through to your post that we've now dynamically put on top. Come on, come on. And yeah, so once you have it finalized and how you want it to look and you're ready to export, just come up here, file, export, export as. Wait for that to pop up. And go ahead and just set the height and to 1920 it should save the ratio if not just 1080 by 1920 it's just going on instagram we don't need super super high res here um make sure it's a jpeg 1080 by 1920 and go ahead and export that wherever you want it to, to go export that on your computer save it as whatever boom and just go ahead and you know airdrop that over however you need to to get it on your phone and then you can plop that image that we just created in photoshop into the over app and you just mask out a hole where we put that black rectangle and you go through the same process we did at the beginning of the video and boom, you have your custom image that you created in Photoshop on your Instagram story ready to pull your new post through to the front of that. I mean, come on, if that's not grabbing your followers attention. I don't know what's going to. So um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I've had a few friends reach out and ask, you know, how, how am I doing this with my stories, that dynamic you know, pulling the post through so you can still click through to the post. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a, uh, a quick tutorial because I need to go ahead and go make one for the post I'm planning for tomorrow. And so, yeah, I thought I'd share it with you guys. If you found this helpful, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more tutorials and stuff like this in the future. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Much love. Later, everybody.